Bristol jump right here on the dock. But we're gonna start back here by the tail and work our way up the back of them. Just kind of follow along his spine. Swordfish cuts pretty easy. Move off like that. Sometimes you can do the whole fillet. I'm just gonna do chunks of it, it's easier. This fish is uh, what we call a pumpkin. The meat's orange on it from its diet. A lot of times it's kind of like a whitish clear. But this meat you're gonna see, it's got a lot of color to it, so it's real pretty. I'm gonna split it right down the middle here. There's a bloodline that runs down the center of them. This fish here, those. The meat's just gorgeous on it. Kinda looks like salmon. See that right there, that's all orange. So that'd be a pumpkin swordfish. They eat a lot of those royal red shrimp and their meat changes to this color. Some years we only catch one or two, some years we catch 10 or 12 like this. But uh, really rich in flavor, one of the best eating fish we got. So that's a pumpkin swordfish. This would be like high dollars in a restaurant. This would be as good as you get, the cream of the crop. And you know, we can kind of follow that bloodline there. Went down the center there. Just gonna do nice chunks. Just keep getting chunks like that. Then when we cook it, we'll trim out that uh, bloodline. Hey Sarah, you got a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin smuggler. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, look at these logs right here. <clears throat> That's got to be a $50 chunk of swordfish right there. Beautiful meat. Who needs a prime rib for Christmas? Chainsaw, Nick. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, Steve, we got on the premium today. It was uh, nice. Two foot sea, a little breeze, comfortable. So we kind of hit his guts there, stomach, so we're going to try to avoid that. Just so we don't spread that all over the fillets. Nick, what are your thoughts on eating any of this raw? Probably better cooked. Um, some nice people, eat, I don't eat, I don't really eat raw fish, but I know people do eat it. My wife has tried it. She said it was all right. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you'd be fine with it, but yeah, it's more popular cooked, definitely. Yeah, you can just cook it rare. It's pretty good that way. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to overcook it because it gets chewy. Yeah. Neck. All right, Jay. Thank you. Uh, on that bottom hatch of the boat, get that back hatch. What do you think this guy's seen in his lifetime here? A lot of squid. A lot of squid, that's for sure. A lot of shrimp too to try to meet that color. Yeah, a lot of the royal red shrimp. Which is deep water shrimp, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, just leave it right there for me, boss. Thank you. Did you find it or no? No, a back catch usually? In a bucket? Any okay. trick to the front here? No, we're going to go up the same way. And All that collar meat right up in there. Does any of that uh, belly area kind of have a toro quality to yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. A lot of people like that belly meat for sure. Extra fattiness, nice and tender. Yeah, I kind of cut a little deep in there and got into his vitals. So we got a little green juice, so we're gonna try to avoid that. Yeah, just clean that off. What? All right, there's a half a pumpkin swordfish. Beautiful. Christmas dinner's covered. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Put that like a prime rib. Forget the prime rib. Yeah, right? <laughs> Surf and turf. A little shoulder meat or head meat there as well. That cut pretty chunk. Alright. Um, you need self and bleach? So that's how you fillet half of the swordfish. <laughs> it took a lot less time than I thought it would. Yeah, well, it's nice and clean, you know, yeah. the bone. And now Cindy's gonna have a sword to take home with her. Yeah. It's an actual bone, so we'll dry it out, we'll get all that meat out of there, and then you got something to remember the day with, the rest of your life. We got the bill up there, we got this whole side slabbed out, got it in nice chunks. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And, uh, we got dinner covered. Good day. <laughs>